Hello everyone, this is Professor Capco. Welcome to the video on computing daily census in a healthcare uh, environment or healthcare uh, facility such as a hospital. This is part of the healthcare statistics class and I'm going to show you some easy techniques for properly calculating your daily census. Alright, so let's look at an example. You might be given an example or a problem like this. There are 250 adults and children that are in the hospital at 12.01 a.m. on August 30, on August 1st. There was also 23 newborns in at that time. During August, the following data were compiled. And note that oftentimes the newborns are kept separate in the calculations, but here's the data that's compiled. You have admissions of adult and children of 1,353 and you have 73 births during the month of August. Also during the month of August you have the following discharges including deaths. Adults and children 1,348. Newborns 65. So with that data, we're asked the following question. What would the inpatient census be for adults and children on August 31st at 11.59 p.m.? So we're looking at, for all of, uh, for what's it, what are we looking at? For just August 31st at 11.59 p.m., what is the inpatient census for adults and children. We're going to exclude from the calculation at this moment the newborns. So that is what we're trying to calculate. So let's take a look at how we do this. Here's the steps you want to take. You're going to take your starting population and you're going to add to it your admissions during the period. So we may want to block this off and do this first, so I can put it in parentheses, like that. We always want to deal with what's in the parentheses first. Once we've taken the starting population and added the admissions during the period, then we're going to subtract from that any discharges during the period, including any deaths. And our result from that, the final answer, is the, what's called a difference, is going to be the inpatient census as of that period, as of that moment. So again, you're going to take the starting population, you're going to add the admissions during the period to that, and then you're going to subtract from that the discharges, including deaths, and that's going to give you your inpatient census. So let's do that using the data that we have. Recall that this is the data that we worked with. So I'm going to take that and use this formula to come up with what our answer is going to be. So if we're working with the adults and children, I like to use boxes. I think it makes it a little bit easier to keep track of everything. You don't have to, but it'll make it a little bit easier and you will get lost. So in the first box is our starting. That's our starting census. And recall to that we're going to add, I'm going to have a second box here, that we're going to add our admissions. And we had talked about doing this all together, so I'm going to put some parentheses around that so you can see that we're going to work that direction. And then from that I'm going to subtract and I'm going to use another box here. I'm going to subtract any discharges, including any deaths. And that, using the formula, is going to ultimately give me the census. In this case, we're looking for the census at 11.59 uh, p.m. on August 31st. 
So we look at our information that we started with. We started with 250 adults and children. So I'm going to fill that in there. And our admissions, including adults and children, is 1,353. And I got that right from our data. I'm going to ignore for this moment the newborns because that's going to be calculated separately. And then we're going to look at our discharges of adults and children. So it's 1,348. So if I take those numbers and I can punch them into my calculator, I have 250, I add 1,353, that's 1,603. I'm going to subtract from that 1,348, and that's going to give me an ultimate census on the 31st of adults and children of 255. Now the second question is asking us what would the inpatient census be for newborns on August 31st, 1159. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to take our starting, subtract, in this case it's, we're going to add, excuse me, not admissions but births, lump those together. I'm going to subtract from that any discharges. And that's going to give us our census of newborns. So from our data, we started with 23. There was 73 births. And there were 65 discharges. So I take the 23 and the 73, that gives me 96, add them together, and I'm going to subtract out the 65, and that's going to leave me a census of 31. So that is, students, is how you calculate the census for adults and children and for newborns. If you subscribe uh, to this channel, you can see some more helpful uh, mathematical examples. Again, this is Professor Capco. Thank you.